friends welcome back to my youtube channel this is a series of interviews that we are doing with candidates of refrain learning who have topped in the fet 2022 exam in obstetrics and gynecology today we have got dr tanu sharma with us tanu uh, very good evening to you good evening ma'am uh, hello uh, congratulations on the wonderful performance in this exam dr tanu has secured a fabulous rank 2 in the exam all india rank 2 many congratulations on this uh this interview is for you to discuss with us your strategy first tell us your background a little about yourself and then tell us how did you manage to secure such a good rank in this exam so over to you tanu thank you ma'am thank you for <laughs> all all the guidance and all, your brilliant notes it wouldn't have been possible without you this is this is i think this is a common statement by every topper every ranker in fet neat ss and ini that it wouldn't have been possible okay. <laughs> this result was overwhelming every result every batch is uh, you know out doing is results. improving i think so yes Last every batch so this year is better this year was the best result that i had mm -hmm. so uh, i have done my uh, undergraduate from lady harding medical college and i have done my post graduation from kasturba hospital delhi only oh. so uh, both you did you your post graduation Ma'am, last year two thousand twenty-two only May twenty-two only, and this is your first attempt. And yes, I believe you also had a good rank in NEET SS. Yes, ma'am. I scored rank fifteen NEET SS. Okay. So, so uh, you decided that you will be able to do better if you target the next. Ma'am, I took the chance <laughs> because the I wasn't sure of that seat. It was a new seat, NIMS Jaipur. I was getting, and I wasn't sure of it. so uh, i thought of giving it another chance and fet was just around the corner one or two months later when the counseling was happening mm -hmm. so i thought that i'll study for two months okay now uh, let's start with your preparation how was your studying during your pg times uh, was this fellowship or a super specialty there in your head right from your first year because you've just cleared your exam no it no ma'am it, it wasn't so as you when did you decide how was the studying in first year Ma'am, it was no studying. <laughs> it was just working. Like usual and, uh, so this is a relief to most of us, most of the candidates, that no studying in first year. Still, you can manage to clear the exam just after you exit exam. Ma'am, uh, you so might have to get serious whenever you decide that you want to clear the exam. Ma'am, I have. Uh, when did you is... get serious? Ma'am, I I thought of giving this super specialization exam in uh, August. Until okay. I cleared my exams, uh, MD exams, okay. and I was in the best yeah. MCQ pattern. I hadn't taken your subscription. Uh, uh, there was this senior, our senior, Dr. Devyani, who had scored rank thirty-five. Yeah. So I got in touch with her, and I thought that maybe I should give it a try. So need assess. I only studied for twenty days. Okay. I started studying in August. We had that mock test, your coaching mock test. And I remember getting forty questions right out of one fifty. Okay. So I felt that I am I am really <laughs> lagging behind, and I should start studying. I do not know a lot of things. So uh, for twenty days, I studied for NEET SS, and uh, NEET SS was a pretty basic. Now, when did you take the subscription first? Ma'am, July. July, July, you took the subscription, and then you gave the mock test, and then you started preparing after that. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So we were in August. You took the mock mm -hmm. test, and then you decided you have to read now. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so reading after that. Ma'am, I uh, studied uh, reproductive medicine in gynae oncology because I just had twenty days. And ma'am, reproductive medicine it was an eye opener. मतलब we don't practice reproductive medicine the way you have taught in our post graduation level. Uh, Nor have I read Spiroff. <laughs> yes. uh, last year's papers they would ask, and even FET they ask uh, you know questions from reproductive medicine that mm. you have to know the concepts. Antagonist, mm. agonist, we never practice in our post graduation days. Mm. Ma'am, I am not the ideal person. Uh, you should ask uh, what study material you have read because I read J. B. Sharma in my post graduation. That's right. This this is what I want people to come up and tell me that big books are not important. No, no, no. There are students who have read big books, but I believe that it is really not important. No, no. It doesn't no. matter. You cannot read them. You cannot finish them. You cannot revise them. Yes. So yes. it's just for it, it's just like a hobby. Reading yes. Spiros yes. and Berekin Hacker is a hobby. Which, when people revise, they believe that because I read the book. That is why you got that. That story is there. But even without reading the books, even without opening those books, these uh, you are an example. You know, you've got ranked two in such a short time. 
Ma'am, I, uh, Williams also, I haven't read, I just read Novak's oncology part and little bit endocrinology. That is it. That is the only standard book I have read. That is the only standard Otherwise, book. I have read uh, areas and iron donors and the smaller books, the yes. Indian authors. Prepare for your exit exam. Yes, ma'am. And then uh, you did... After need after assessment. July, August, so, uh, from August, what was the source of your reading? Ma'am, only a note. So I just had 20 days and I felt that a lot of questions I haven't even heard of in the mock test. So I felt that I will get new study material. So I uh, read your notes for 20 days and it was a lot of uh, new things. Reproductive medicine was an eye-opener. So uh, the paper need assess was easy. It was a pretty basic paper and I scored because uh, of the easiness of the paper. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> I wouldn't have because I didn't read. Uh, then I joined uh, Man CSR ship. Uh, just two, three days later, I joined Man CSR ship and I worked there for around 40, 45 days. Uh, I didn't feel the kick. I didn't feel that uh, I was. CSR ship uh, never gives you. Kick. No, no. <laughs> through your three years, you'll be thinking, I should do something with my life. Uh, yes, what CSR ship makes you realize. And a lot of my co ISRs and senior SRs were preparing for this FET or were thinking to prepare for FET and asked me to leave it and join some neat assess seat any need assess seat that I get. So I felt that maybe this is my first attempt and without studying only, uh, I have got, I should give it a try. I should give it a dedicated effort. Just at that point, I gave INI. INI was entirely from your notes. Mm -hmm. I hadn't studied. I had studied two months back, but even then I was able to recall all your notes. Mm -hmm. So that was the time that was my last straw. <laughs> that I resigned from MC. No, I should give two, three months dedicated. So uh, mid-November, I restarted my uh, studies. Two months, I had a gap of months, yes, Arsh, but I wasn't able to study. So mid-November, I started studying now my radio notes for two times. Uh, and two uh, times. Did you do the videos? Did you have time? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I read the, I heard all your videos once before need assess and once in November. And all then... your, because videos are a faster way of revision i feel it yes. it stays more with you i think mm -hmm. you are writing notes i have made the notes also but i think One in two months notes different. also i was hearing it yes. because those things you, you listen to those in your exams in your solving the mcq you can listen to your lines i can listen to your lines that you were telling this and you were telling that right. so my thing i think audio memory is a very strong source of memory nowadays even i am realizing i am taking a few classes that it's easy you can brush your teeth you are eating you can listen to those videos you can do whatever you want it stays in your head you listen to those things mama but... got from my students only that we can listen to video lectures doing whatever we feel yes 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 it can be multitasking it's... in two months you were able to finish all the videos and you were able to finish yes. two revisions of all the notes Ma'am, uh, one thing I made sure that whatever guidelines you told or were there in your MCQs, I read those gui guidelines. Yes, in <laughs> MCQs, I specifically give references. There are different, different guidelines which you have not mentioned in the class. I even read yes. those. Because we cannot mention everything. Class gets boring if I keep on mentioning every small detail. Yes, yes, I can understand. Those references are important. I put references only when that article is very important. I put that reference so that mm -hmm. you have to go back and read it. If you even for breach for giant delivery, we have like four or five guidelines. Two are RCOG, two are this and two are that. So for every small thing, you have given a lot of guidelines. And I read all those. Yes, that is one thing that I did. Guidelines are an, are an easy way of forming MCQs. Hmm. It's very likely hmm. that you will get an MCQ from guidelines. You have to read guidelines. And also guidelines are easy to remember. I believe. Yes, ma'am. And I think RCOG is a very easy guideline. Very, very easy. Good. They give it very point-wise, very precise, hmm. concise, everything will be to the point. Not like ACOG. Beating yes, around right. the bush, RCOG is straightforward. So yes, it's easy right. to remember. So yes, you read all those guidelines, which yeah. wherever yes, you got. Yes. I did your question bank. And then so the exam. Holy, you were uh, completely on Repronit learning only, no textbook. Yes, yes the no other time. textbook, okay. uh, guidelines, all the guidelines, and Repronit learning. But then uh, the exam got postponed. I had already read, revised your notes twice. So I didn't want to do it for the same guidelines and the same notes the third time. So I did marrow notes that time. So marrow notes, marrow question mark. Marrow for PG. Marrow for PG, marrow for PG. Yes. So one of these PG sources is also yes. important. You have to know those basics. Some do Sakshi Aroda, some do marrow. So from somewhere, you have to solve all the previous years, PG recalls also, or PG yes. level questions. 
and those were also like uh, ashman's grading i don't know where it is given yes. but it was given in varo notes and last okay. year and was then it was asked <laughs> that that was asked like three four okay. questions straight from varo question bank even okay. that was a nice question bank to do i wanted to do different things so uh, yes. i did varo in the last 20 days okay and uh, it's easy to finish one of those pg books uh, once you have read everything then you everything yes, 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 yes i remember yes. when i was doing i had finished last year on 5 6 days Yes, because I had done a lot of revisions. So Sakshi Arora was easy, yes, but you have to finish one of these PG level. Yes, you shouldn't. I I wasn't planning to. That wasn't the plan. But when the but exam was like postponed, and you had yes. the benefit. Yes, so, wonderful. Focused reading, and you've got such a good score, second rank. Uh, congratulations on this. Thank I, you. I, thank you. Only Rebro need, and only Rebro need. <laughs> Nothing else. That is, uh, I feel a little proud of myself also. You should, of course, <laughs> of course for your effort. But this interview is going to be, you know, very helpful for students because there are many students who keep messaging me, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I haven't read any books. I've given my PG exam. Is it possible? Mm -hmm. Should I even prepare? Because then there are so many interviews where all the students said, "I have read Sperov. I have read Verek and Hackers. I have read this. They have read those books, but there are students who will do it even with, mm -hmm. without reading." You should give your dedicated uh, time. You will have to give yes. your dedicated one or two you months to decide, and then you have to sit. That yes. now I have to prepare for it. It's yes. just that preparation is important. Your de yes. determination is important. You have to decide. Yes. The source is there. Everything is available, yes. but it's not that it make the classes makes it easy. I keep repeating this. Classes doesn't make it easy. You still have to read for five six hours a day. Yes, ma'am. In the last two months to complete. Yes. But if you're doing it, it is not a very tough exam. It is. It's it is not a very tough exam. I have yes. seen those students who sincerely prepare. They do get through, except for some unfortunate ones who will get it in the next try. Definitely. Uh huh. Sooner or later you get through. Sooner or later you get it. Most of my students sooner or later have got the seat. Yes. Oh, wonderful. So uh, it is so nice to have you over, Dr. Tanu. Uh, wait before before you know before we end this meeting. Tell me your one usual regular question. The strategy in exam. Uh, there were two sections, A and B. Was that uh, a problem for you? And how many you attempted? Uh, also, ma'am, uh, uh, the forty, the general part, the general OBGY, it was of forty questions, ma'am. That were pretty easy. I did. Your target should be to do all those forty out of forty right. Oh. You shouldn't be wrong because those General were very OBG easy. It was easy. General oh. OBG was easy. The sixty questions, the super speciality ones, they were a little tricky, and they tested how much you have studied. They were comprehensive. If you haven't studied, you couldn't go right with the guessing game. Okay. So that is where it comes into testing. Yes, so, you couldn't so, guess those. You had to know that you, you had like AFS score, endometriosis score, and this score, this score. This you can't guess. You can't you guess. But I have repeatedly told you while teaching endometriosis yes, that all the scorings you have to yes, mark. Yes, yes, you yes, basically yes. have to mark those scorings. You cannot... So I did ninety-eight questions out of which eighty okay. around I was sure. Eighty you were sure, ninety-eight you did, you left two. So yes. that is the average. Uh, students have attempted ninety to maximum ninety-eight. You have attempted among yes, the toppers. Yes, ma'am. Uh, last one last tip that you would want to give to students who are preparing for the next exam. Uh, it's all right if you haven't read big books just read the guidelines even in my post graduation i remember opening guideline in the opd discussing it with my srs consultant so you should know the all the guidelines because figo say something different nice say something different you should know guidelines and you should know that you want to give this exam like if you're divided in your mind i don't think the result will come uh, yes you have determination is important Yes, yes, yes. And uh, regarding the guidelines, students also keep asking me where to get all the guidelines from. From so, uh, I think we discuss most of the guidelines. Yes. Like if I, you have a video on that how to get the guidelines also. Yes, I have uploaded a video. I was very yes. chubby that time. I remember that video. Uh, <laughs> what I uh, what I do is even while taking the class endometriosis, I have told you which all guidelines to read. With every chapter, I tell you which guidelines to. I had a list of only guidelines that I revised in the last two days. Oh. That this, this, this guideline, all the guidelines, important guidelines, I had a list, and that is the only thing that I revised in the last two days. Okay, so compared to big books, guidelines is what is more important. Yes, ma'am. Apart from classes, you have to go through the guidelines. Yes, ma'am. Because you questions should. are straight picked up from there. You develop an approach. 
yes management approach also right. they are good for practice also even i when i have to practice if there is a doubt in ppro and patient or something i open the guidelines only and to see what is to be done in this patient how long to wait should i induce or should i huh. wait for someone uh, wonderful so it guidelines. was really nice to have you over dr tanu we'll stay yeah. in touch and uh, i'm so happy having you being your student <laughs> having you as the mentor <laughs> thank you it's really i will keep those notes handy all the time <laughs> these are lovely notes ma'am yes if you are doing you know super speciality you might need the theory part okay. again so keep reading and keep practicing keep doing well in life all the best for your life ahead